Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 5.5, decimal division. The essential question for this lesson is, how can you use a model to divide by a decimal? Now, let's go ahead and open up in our GoMath workbooks to lesson 5.5, found on page 109, and let's get started. Now, let's take a look at question number two. Question two says use the model to complete the number sentence. Well, for question two, they give us 36 hundredths divided by six hundredths. Now, when we divide decimals using models, there's some steps that we need to follow. Step number one is going to be to shade decimal models to represent the dividend. Well, for question two, our dividend is 36 hundredths. What's nice is when I look down here, I can see they've already shaded in 36 hundredths in our model. We have 10, 20, 30, and then we have six more of those hundredths shaded in. So that represents, once again, our dividend of 36 hundredths. Now, step number two says, now we have to begin to divide or break apart the model into groups that are each the size of the divisor. Well, in question two, our divisor is six hundredths. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back to my model over here, my 36 hundredths, and I'm going to begin to break apart my model into groups that, once again, are the same size as my divisor, which is six hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and begin grouping, and here's what I notice. I have a group of six hundredths right here. Now let me change colors and we're going to find another group of six hundredths. We have a group of six hundredths right here. We have another group of six hundredths here. And we have another group of six hundredths here. Now we're going to see if we can find some more groups of our six hundredths. Well I know that I also have six more hundredths here. And then I also have another group of six hundredths right here. Now, let's make a count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So what we know is the number of same size groups turns out to be our quotient. And what we see over here also represents that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of the same size groups, which once again, that tells us when I divide 36 hundredths by six hundredths, our quotient turns out to be the whole number six. So we're going to go ahead and write down six, and that is our quotient. And we have now used the model to illustrate decimal division. Now, let's take a look at question number four together. For question four, the directions say to divide and to use decimal models. Well, for question four, the problem is 40 hundredths divided by five hundredths. Now remember, there are certain steps we're going to follow when we use our decimal models for division. Step number one says, shade decimal models to represent the dividend. And in this case, our dividend is going to be 40 hundredths. So I know that I'm going to need a 10 by 10 grid, and in that 10 by 10 grid, I need to shade in 40 hundredths. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pause the video for a minute, and I want you to go ahead and draw the 10 by 10 grid, and I want you to shade in 40 hundredths. And we'll check together in just a minute. Now, this time you should have your 40 hundredths shaded into your 10 by 10 grid. So we have our 10, 20, 30, and 40 hundredths now shaded in. Now, step number two says, now we need to divide or break apart the model into groups that are each the size of our divisor. And in this problem, our divisor is 5 hundredths. So our next step is going to be to go ahead and now divide them into equal groups or equal parts that show 5 hundredths. So I'm so I'm going to begin to go ahead and divide out or break apart our, our model into groups of five hundredths. So right here we have one, two, three, four, five hundredths here. And we have one, two, three, four, five hundredths here. So there's two groups. Then we have another group right here of five hundredths. And another group right here. We have another group here of five hundredths. And another group right here. We have another group here of our five hundredths, and then we also have another group right here. So now let's make our count. How many groups of five hundredths do we now have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what that tells me is the number of same size groups turns out to be the quotient. And once again, we had eight of our same size groups of our five hundredths, so our quotient here turns out to be the whole number eight. So we're going to go ahead and write down our 8, and that becomes our quotient, and we found that using our decimal models. Now, let's take a look at question number 8 together. The directions once again say to divide and to use decimal models. Well, for question number 8, they give us 1 and 8 tenths divided by 9 tenths. 
Now this question is a little different because we're not dealing with numbers in the hundreds place anymore. This time we have two numbers that are in the tenths place. Now we're going to follow the same steps. Step number one still says to shade a decimal model to represent the dividend, which in this case is one and eight tenths. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is this. I'm going to ask you to pause and I'm going to ask you to draw a model to show one and eight tenths. Now remember, we don't have to divide it into hundredths this time. We just have to divide our grids into tenths. So we're going to draw two grids so we can show one and eight tenths. And then I want you to shade in to show our dividend of one and eight tenths. So go ahead and pause the video now and I want you guys to go ahead and draw and shade one and eight tenths. And we'll check in just a minute. Now check your models out, see if they match up. You should have at this time one hole completely shaded in because once again we have a one in the ones place and then you should have eight tenths. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight tenths shaded in. Now once we have step one taken care of, which is once again shading decimal models to represent our dividend, which is one and eight tenths, step number two says now we're going to break apart or divide the model into groups that are each the size of the divisor. And in this case our divisor is nine tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and work to divide our groups now, or our models, into equal groups of nine tenths. Let's go ahead and start to make our count here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths here. So there's one group of our nine tenths. Now let's go ahead and continue on. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tenths here. So we now have a second group of nine tenths. Now what that tells us is this. We know that the number of same size groups turns out to be the quotient. So what we have is we have one, two groups of our nine tenths. So we know that our quotient is gonna turn out to be the whole number two. So when I divide one and eight tenths by nine tenths, our quotient turns out to be the whole number two. Now let's take a look at question number nine together. It's one of our real world problem solving questions and number nine says, Keisha buys two and four tenths kilograms of rice. She separates the rice into packages that contain four tenths kilogram of rice each. How many packages of rice can Keisha make? Well, here's what we know. We know that she buys two and four tenths kilograms of rice. And we know that she separates the rice into packages that each contain four tenths of a kilogram. So what happens is we're going to take our two and four tenths and we're going to have to divide that by the four tenths packages that she's making. Now remember, this is about using our models to do decimal division. Step number one says shade decimal models to represent the dividend. And in this case, our dividend is two and four tenths. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to first of all draw grids and we're going to have to divide the grids into tenths because once again we're dealing with two and four tenths and also four tenths. Once we have those grids drawn, we then have to shade in and show two and four tenths. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pause the video and I want you to draw and show me what two and four tenths would look like shaded in in your models and then we're going to check that together in just a minute. So go ahead and pause the video now. Now, your model should look similar to mine. At this time, you should have one hole, two holes, and then one, two, three, four tenths completely shaded in. And that, once again, represents our dividend, which is two and four tenths. Now, step number two says, now we have to divide or break apart the model into groups that are each the size of our divisor. Well, in this case, our divisor is four tenths. So we're gonna be grouping equal groups of four tenths. So let's go ahead and begin to make our count here. So right here we have one, two, three, four tenths here. So there's one group. I have one, two, three, four tenths here. So that's group number two. I have one, two, three, four tenths here. There's group three. Then we have one, two, three, four tenths here. We have one, two, three, four tenths right here. And then we also have one, two, three, four tenths right here. Now remember, the number of same size groups becomes our quotient. So let's make a count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six equal size groups. So what that tells us is two and four tenths divided by four tenths becomes six. So we're going to go ahead and write down our quotient and that turns out to be six. So what we know is Keisha can make six packages of rice 
and that turns out to be our answer. Now, let's take a look at question number 10 together. It's another one of our real-world problem-solving questions, and number 10 says, Layton is making cloth headbands. She has four and two-tenths yards of cloth. She uses two-tenths of a yard of cloth for each headband. How many headbands can Layton make from the length of cloth she has? So what we know is this. We know that Layton has four and two-tenths yards of cloth, and we know that she uses two-tenths of a yard for each of her headband. So we're going to take our four and two-tenths, and we're going to have to divide that by the two-tenths yards of cloth that it takes to make each headband. Now remember, we're using our decimal models to show division. And step number one says, shade the decimal models to represent the dividend, which in this case is four and two-tenths. So we're going to have to now draw models. And remember, we're just going to divide, divide them into tenths because we have four and two-tenths and two-tenths. So we're going to have to draw models where we can shade and show the dividend, which is four and two-tenths. So I'm going to ask that you go ahead and pause the video, and we're going to go ahead and draw those models, and then we'll check together to make sure that we're on the right track. So pause your video right now, draw and shade in four and two-tenths. Now, your model should look similar to mine. We have one, two, three, four tenths completely shaded in to represent the four in the ones place, and then we have one, two more tenths shaded in to represent the two in the tenths place here. So once again, our model now represents our dividend of four and two tenths. Now, step number two says, now we have to divide or break apart the model into groups that are each the size of our divisor. And in this case, our divisor is two tenths. So we're going to go ahead and begin to make our count here. So I'm going to go ahead and begin counting off in groups of two tenths. So here is one two tenths here, two tenths here, two tenths here, here, and here. So we have our two tenths broken up there. Now let's move on. So two tenths here. We also have two tenths here, two tenths here, two tenths here, and also two tenths here. Now we'll continue on with our groups. We have two tenths here. We have another group here. We have another group right here of two tenths here and also right here. Now let's continue on to the next one. We have two tenths here. We have two tenths right here. Another group of two tenths here, here, and also right here. And then we also have one more group of two tenths right here. Now remember, step three says the number of same size groups turns out to be the quotient. So let's make our count here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one groups. So what that means is our quotient turns out to be an answer of twenty-one. So when we divide four and two tenths by two tenths, the quotient turns out to be the whole number twenty-one. So what we know is Layton can make 21 headbands from the amount of cloth that she has. Now your homework for tonight is going to be this. You'll complete question number one and question number two as well as numbers three through six found on page 110 in your Go Math workbook. Don't forget to assess yourself. Do you feel like you're number one a novice, number two an apprentice, number three a practitioner, or number four an expert? Make sure you write your number down somewhere on your workbook page. Once again, don't forget, your homework assignment for tonight is to complete question number one, as well as question number two, along with numbers three through six found in your Go Math workbook on page 110. We hope you have a great evening and we look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow.